Good evening, students and parents. Here I am again, Miss Gross, teaching you some multiplication strategies. Right now, we're going to be looking at the U.S. algorithm strategy for multiplication. This may be more familiar to those of us who grew up with a more traditional method of multiplication, so you may remember this strategy. So, to start off, I'm going to start with a more simple problem. We're going to do 24 multiplied by 5. Now in the US algorithm multiplication strategy, I'm going to start by multiplying the two digits, or the two numbers, that are in the ones place. So I'm going to start off by doing 5 times 4, which I know is 20. Now to put this in my problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up those two numbers, kind of like we do um, when we're carrying numbers when we do addition. The zero is going to go right here, and the two is going to be carried over to the top, just like that. Now I'm going to erase those lines so that they don't get confusing. So we had 5 times 4 equals 20. Now we're going to look at what's in the ones place and what's in the tens place. So we're going to do 5 times 2, which equals 10. But we can't forget about this 2 that we carried over. So that 2 is going to come down, and we're going to do 10 plus 2, which equals 12. We're going to put it at the bottom. So now we see that 24 times 5 is 120. That's our answer. For the next problem, we're going to look at 49 times 3 or multiplied by 3 equals something. So again, we're going to start in our ones place with 3 times 9, which equals 27. So we're going to break apart that number again. Put our 7 down here, our 2 up here for 27. Then we're going to do 3 times 4, which we know equals 12. But we can't forget about the 2 that we carried over, so we're going to add that 2 to our 12. So 12 plus 2 equals 14. Our answer is 147. So 49 times 3 equals 147. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Enjoy your evening, and I'll see you guys in the morning.